This is a kumquat. It might look like a love child between an orange and a cherry tomato, but this miniature citrus fruit packs a mixture of sweet and tart flavors, and is delicious. So let's make super juice with it. Hi friends of cocktails! Last year, when the original super juice episode blew up, there are a lot of you who asked how to super juice other fruits. Among the requests, there was also the tiny kumquat, an interesting citrus fruit. To use it in cocktails, it would take way too long to juice enough of it, so it makes perfect sense to turn it into super juice. We will also match the acidity to that of lemon and lime juice, so it will be easier to mix in cocktails, but it will still have plenty of kumquat flavor. And I'll make not one, not two, but three cocktails with kumquat super juice. Can you guess what they are just by seeing them? Let me know in the comments how many you got right. And while you're down there, give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. We're closing in on that magic 100k mark. Now it's cocktail time. People first grew kumquat trees in China in the 1700s. According to WebMD, the name kumquat combines the Chinese word gam, meaning gold, and guat, another word for tangerines, so gold tangerines. The tree was brought to Europe and the United States in the 1800s. It grows best in the warmer areas, but can stand up to the cold reasonably well. Kumquats are rich in vitamin C and A. The skin is full of fiber and antioxidants, so it's packed with health benefits. Interestingly, the skin of the fruit is actually sweeter than the juice within, and it's completely edible. Just wash your fruits, really well, always. Kumquats are at their best in late winter and early spring, so it's perfect timing to see how we can turn this tiny sweet juice into super juice. For that we'll of course need kumquats. Citric acid, which is the main acid in the kumquat, ascorbic acid or vitamin C, but that's optional, and water. The original super juice technique developed by Nick Morris covers just peels in acid, but there's no point in peeling these little things. We'll be adding acid to the whole fruit, but I've tested the ratios of peels, juice and everything else in a kumquat to see how much acid we need to add, and I once again adjusted the ratios of acids to fruit and water. Don't worry, there's already a kumquat super juice calculator on kevincos.com to help you out with the math. So grab a scale and a modeler, and let's make kumquat super juice. Weigh your kumquats and memorize this number, or just go ahead and add it straight into the super juice calculator. According to my tests, the peels make up about 25-30% to the weight of the fruit, juice is 15-20% to and the rest is the meat and the peel. Based on this, we'll add citric acid. For every 100 grams of kumquats, add 25 grams of acid, representing the quarter of the total weight, equaling that of the peels. The acid will pull the essential oils from the fruit, but will help it along by giving everything a good model, before leaving it to sit for an hour. After that, we have a very acidic mix that's bursting with kumquat flavor. We need to water it down so it's ready to be used as a sour component in our cocktails. Take the weight of the acid we added and multiply it by 16.66, like we did for other super juices. That will get the acidity level to 6%. The same as fresh lemon and lime juice. Blend the whole mixture for long enough to pulverize all parts of the kumquats. Then strain it through a cloth filter. If it's going slow, help it along with a spoon. Squeeze out all the juice and weigh your yield. This is because I'm also adding a tiny amount of ascorbic acid, or vitamin C, 0.4% of the total weight of the juice. I've tested two batches of kumquat super juice for a little over a week, and the one with added ascorbic acid had a more intense aroma and flavor for longer. So not a necessary step, but it's something I'd recommend you try, even with other super juices we made. Bottle, store in the fridge and use within a week for best results. I don't even want to think how many kumquats we'd need to juice to get this amount of juice. But now we have to test it in some cocktails to see what it pairs with nicely. We'll make two sours with different spirits and techniques, and a Tom Collins. If you have any other suggestions what this might work great in, write it in the comments below. First up, a cognac sour, with the basic formula of spirit, sweet and sour. Start with 2 ounces or 60 ml of cognac or brandy of choice. I'm using Remy Martin 1738. Follow that with equal parts of our sour and sweet components, and we'll keep that constant for all three cocktails. 3 quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml of kumquat super juice and 3 quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml of simple syrup. This is just equal weight of sugar and water. And like it's tradition around here, 2 drops of saline solution. Shake everything with ice for 10 to 15 seconds. And double strain into a chilled cup glass. Garnish with a kumquat on a cocktail pick and move on to the next cocktail. The whiskey sour. We'll make the king of sour cocktails 
make your smart bourbon, but go for your favorite here. Again, follow the spirit with 3 quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml of Kumquat Super Juice. And a proper whiskey sour is known for its foamy crown that creates the smooth texture. Instead of egg whites, we are using super syrup. The combination of sweetener and the foaming agent we made a while ago, 3 quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml. And same as before, 2 drops of silly solution. This is 20 grams of salt dissolved in 80 grams of water. Shake the cocktail with ice first to chill and dilute. Then dump the ice and shake again to create the beautiful foam. With super syrup, a reverse dry shake really creates a better result. Double strain into a rocks glass over fresh ice and garnish with another skewered kumquat. The third cocktail, the Tom Collins, will be built in the glass. Named after this cocktail, the Collins glass. The base spirit has always been gin, but the original Tom Collins would be made with an old Tom gin. London Dry is the norm nowadays, but I think Plymouth gin will pair nicely with kumquat. So 2 ounces or 60 ml of gin, and 3 quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml of kumquat super juice. If you made a bigger batch than you need, you can always store some in the freezer for another time. For this one, we are back to simple syrup. Again, 3 quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml, as the same as with previous cocktails. 2 drops of sandy solution. A Collins wouldn't be complete without soda, so top it up to the brim and mix the ingredients gently before adding the garnish. Skewered kumquat and a cocktail cherry. A beautiful lineup. Did you guess all three at the beginning? The Konex Sour was a tough one, I'll give you that. But let's see how kumquat super juice works in this. Cheers! Starting with the Konex Sour. The French spirit is in the forefront, from the aroma to the palate but the kumquat complements it wonderfully. Think of a more subtle orange liqueur note from a sidecar. That's why I picked a Konex Sour, and it's a great match. On to the Whiskey Sour. Many bartenders, and Martha Stewart, sometimes add orange juice to add a sweet twist to this classic cocktail. Here the kumquat super juice plays its part perfectly. It's sour with a subtle sweet orange note. Super syrup gives the whole cocktail a silky mouthfeel, so it's top grades for all parts of the cocktail. And lastly, Tom Collins. Kumquat is prevalent on the aroma, but much more subtle on the palate. The light, refreshing cocktail incorporates gin's botanicals with a citrusy kumquat in a beautiful way. Tom Collins has a lot of cousins, so if you have a name for this one, let me know. All three combinations were great, but for my taste, they're just a touch on the sweeter side, because of the sweet pills from the kumquat in the super juice, if you compare it to lemon or lime super juices. An extra bar spoon or two of kumquat super juice in this wouldn't hurt. If you've got more kumquats on your hands, and you want to try a different cocktail? Steve the bartender made a Kumquat Quest cocktail a while ago on his channel with vodka, Grand Marnier, lime juice, Demerara syrup, and of course, Kumquats. Also, let me know if you'd like to see me try to super juice any other fruits. I'll see you next week, or sooner, if you watch another cocktail time video. Cheers!